Hey, we back next to the scuffed ME system of last time when we did the carpenter and um, this time we are talking about quantum compressor because this makes singularities and they are a similar problem as the advanced carpenter is actually um, in that they require a lot of items and if you want to autograph them with PE2 once again you cannot fit 10,000 items into one pack. However, we reach a new problem in this case, because you also cannot fit 81 items into one encoded package pattern thing. So how do you automate this? Well, I have, once again, a couple of solutions for you. Because, firstly, if we talk about some of the singularities that are ingots that have a block form, now we have an easy solution. Because what we can do is we can set up our quantum compressor next to a crafter. If we set it up like this, import bus, inserting into the quantum compressor, coming out of the crafter, and we set up a recipe in here that is simply iron blocks. If I just grab a couple. We say, okay, recipe one, iron blocks, apply, simple. And then any iron blocks will get pulled out to here. And then what we can do is we can just insert into the crafter as many iron blocks as we need to make the recipe. Well now we have a simple solution isn't it? So what are we even doing the video about? Well the problem is that not all of them are so simple. Like for example the glowstone singularity obviously cannot follow that rule. So how do we compress glowstone? Now there's two methods of doing it in this case. The first one being simply that instead of using fancy uh, package methods by themselves, we can combine it with the old school method of a token. We grab our piece of paper and we set it up to craft that. So let me set that up. Okay, so we've got a chest set up here. It's got an import bus with a redstone card on it that's active with signal and a level emitter next to it with a crafting card in it with a random item it doesn't matter what you use i used one of these because it was there and i've named it glowstone in that anvil over there which we can now get rid of now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it into this chest right and then i'm going to go over to my package recipe encoder and i'm going to say okay all right let's use glowstone as the example because that was the one that was the troublemaker and what we can do we can put it in all of these here like this I, you, you probably want to fill up the whole thing, but for my demonstration I'm not going to. We actually need to grab this, and I'm going to say that that makes this. Let's fill up a whole row actually, that'll be good. This makes this, right? We're just, we're completely lying to it. Of course that doesn't make that, it doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't know that. Then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next recipe. We're going to take the glowstone singularity. We're going to say, okay, now we're making a glowstone singularity. Okay, maybe maybe just the one of them. Maybe, maybe we're just making one glowstone singularity. And we say, okay, this is going to take a bunch more glowstone, right? I don't know why that did only one. There we go. And then maybe a few of these as well, right? We can save that. It's a pattern. I'm going to get my quantum compressor. I'm going to get another chest. Put it here. Uh, we will put the unpackager next to this chest here, like that. And then we can have another packager over here randomly, why not? This can take this pattern. This can also take this pattern. This is going to need a bit of cabling. Okay, and I've set up these little item conduits. This one has a filter for glowstone, and this one has a filter for our ender io capacitor now note that basic item filters do not actually pay attention to the name so if you are doing a lot of these in the same chest you will need to make sure that they are different items you can't use a capacitor or a piece of paper or whatever for all of them if you have a better item filter of some description then go ahead but uh, with the basic one you're just going to need to uh, use a different item uh, but you get the point there we go um, we have this set up now and if i go into here we should see glowstone singularity. Now I'm just going to quickly grab 10,000 glowstone. 
Of course, it's not actually 10,000 because for our demonstration here, we didn't fill up the whole thing like twice, which is about what you would need to make an actual singularity. But I've got the 2,000 here, it thinks that's enough, so we'll plug it in here. Now remember, there was only about five stacks in the original recipe, but it's asking for 2,500. It thinks it's going to craft these things, and then it's going to get a singularity. So let's see what it does. It starts off by crafting these. Now you say it's stored it. That is because the import bus here activated when the level emitter went on. It stored the capacitor there, and it's now shoved the glowstone into this chest, which is now being shoved into here. Uh, this doesn't actually have any power, that's my bad. Um, but there you go, it's slowly shoving the glowstone into here. We probably want to have some upgrades on this, and this probably wants to be a bigger chest. But once it's got through all of this glowstone, it will then say, okay, well, now that we've made the first one, and it's, the, the chest is empty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue another one. So it will then send more glowstone into here, right? Now, one thing that I did forget to mention is that in doing it like this with multiple of these things, what you are going to need to have is multiple of them in here. You will need one in, in the chest for everything that you want to use in here. That's because otherwise it will import it, it will import one. And then, of course, there's nothing in the chest, so it can't actually create the second one of these because there isn't a second one of these that exists. Realistically, what you're going to want to do is just try and use one of these. But for singularities, that is actually enough. Like I said, it's just under two fillings worth that you need to make the singularity. So you're only going to need one of these. So you don't actually need to worry about it. Um, but it is worth noting that that is uh, a point because what it'll do when it then finally crafts the actual singularity is it will dump all of these capacitors back into this chest thinking that that's the crafting recipe and then they will be filters off, filtered off over to here instead of going in here ready for the next craft later. So you see how the system works, it works alright, it's not bad, but there's a couple of problems. Mostly the problem is these two extra channels. You're only doing one craft, why should you use two whole extra channels? Realistically, this doesn't matter. And if you're willing to set it up like this, then go ahead. I in fact set mine up like this the first time I did it, but I'm now going to show you a slightly better method that uses less channels and is probably more effective as well. Okay, we've moved over here to get away from the mess, but I'm going to use compressed cobblestone as an example here before we go into the singularities, because it's, it's a little complicated. So we've got a crafter here, we're going to set that up over here, and let's put a couple of recipes into it. Oh, we'll need to give it a power source, obviously, and then let's say, okay, this crafter can make compressed cobblestone. We'll say, uh, crafting operation output will stay in the input buffer, apply that. Uh, let's shove some cobblestone into here, there we go, stayed in the input buffer. And then let's say, okay, and you can turn those there into double compressed cobblestone, right? And now we'll get rid of that. So now we can set up a recipe for double compressed cobblestone and not uh, compressed cobblestone. That's the idea, right? Uh, but we're going to do it with the packages. So I'm going to take an unpackager. I'm going to put it here. I'm actually going to take another one and I'll put it there. This one's going to be connected up to ME. This one is not. This one's going to be connected to the first one with a conduit. I'll explain why in a second. We're going to be outputting from there into here, and then from here into here. And then on here we'll have an import bus that loops back round to the ME system. So that is presumably the double compressed cobblestone that we are importing back into ME. So what are we doing with this over here? Well, if I set up a regular packager here, and then I'm going to go back over to the recipe encoder. In fact, let's bring another one over here, shall we? Just make things a little bit easier. And we are going to shove some packaged recipe holders into here. I'm going to start. I'm going to, well, I'm going to start by searching up cobble. We'll get a recipe for compressed cobble. There we go. Compressed cobble works like that. Simple, easy, done. Right? Because of course it does. Now I'm going to temporarily 
shove one of those in there. Not in the unpackager. Not yet. Then we can go over here. You notice there is no recipe for compressed cobble because we haven't got the unpackager. But if I search through here, we have got the recipe package. Now I said in the last video that you're probably not going to be wanting to craft these. But here we are going to want to craft one. We're going to craft that one. There we go. Compressed cobble package. This is not a compressed cobble. This is a compressed cobble package. Now if we go into the second recipe slot here, we'll say, okay, now we have a recipe for double compressed cobble. But instead of using compressed cobble, we're going to replace them all with these packages. Right? Now, like I say, this may seem a little complicated, but it should make sense in a moment. Now I'm going to put these back into here. I'm going to save them. Uh, and then one of them is going into here, and the other one, actually, we don't need the other one right now. Then what we, we, we're going to want to do is we're going to have unpackages, right? One of them is going to have this recipe. Save that, grab one out, there we go. You can actually bin that one now. And then the other one is going to have the regular compressed cobble package, right? So now we have one for compressed cobble, one for double compressed cobble. I'm sure you can see where we're going with this now. This one is going to take the double compressed cobble. This one is going to take the compressed cobble. Now note that this one doesn't have power because it's not connected to any. So we are going to need to give it some quick quartz fibers. That's not how you spell quartz fiber. There we go. If we shove that on there. We can give it some power like that. Ah, that's going to... Mix with that. There we go. Sorted. That was a bit tidy. So this has now got power. Then if we go over to here, we will have a few extra recipes. So we have our compressed cobble recipe package, a double compressed cobble recipe package, and a double compressed cobblestone. Note, there is no recipe for compressed cobblestone, only double compressed. But if we click this, you can see what it's going to be making. I'll cancel that. Here we go, it's making all of those packages, then it made the big package, and now it's making the double compressed cobblestone. Ah, sorry guys, I forgot to mention that it can only output to something like a chest. Once again, I said this last time, not an item conduit. So this actually didn't work, but just by placing a chest on the top, you can see it put our nine recipe packages into there. And so instead of extracting out of there, we are going to extract out of the chest. This also needs to be a chest. <laughs> ah dear mess everything up today. It should be going to here now. There you go, you see. Now it works. And it has made us our double compressed cobblestone. I will now set the same system up for singularities. Now I've set up here exactly a thousand glowstone in this package recipe holder. Now note we don't actually need an output here because realistically this isn't making anything. So it's just a recipe. Note as well that we have two recipe packages, index 0 and index 1. That is going to become important. So let's take this recipe, go ahead and throw it into a packager. And then if we look into our terminal, we can see the two packages that it can create. I'm going to go ahead and make them both. We are going to need both of them. And then let's take these two here back into the package recipe holder. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get 10 of these like that and also 10 of these like that and that is going to make a glowstone singularity. Right? Now we grab this. Both recipes, mind. This still counts as a recipe. We've got both of them on here. See it says processing nothing and processing glowstone singularity. Right. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a third one and get rid of this recipe here. Save that. This is just the singularity. Now we go over to here. This recipe we've got here is the same as the nothing. That was just as a backup. So we can uh, grab that out and now we need to put the both one into the packager. We will put the singularity one into the first unpackager and the nothing one into the second unpackager. You see this is the same as the cobblestone. Now if I go into the interface over here you can see we have our three packages 
the glowstone singularity and the nothing with index 0 and 1, we also have the actual glowstone singularity. So let's set one off. 10,000 glowstone available. And it's going to make 10 of the smaller packages and one of the big ones. Let's start it off. We can see it's making them very quickly. As I said, the transfer rate is infinite, so it'll do one per tick. And there we go, it's already finished them all off. Let's go check out what it's doing over here. Apparently I forgot to put the chest on the top, so let's just fix that. There we go, it's made the packages. Let's get it extracting, they are in fact extracting, there you go, they've gone into here. Being unpackaged, and we've got glowstone in the chest. It's putting it straight into the quantum compressor, and it's making ourselves a glowstone singularity, which will then be imported by this import bus back into ME. So, fully automated singularities. And it's a lot nicer than the previous setup that we had over here with the uh, extra item involved. Now, there is one method to simplify it even further. As you can see, I've got rid of the packager in the middle. That is because I'm going to swap out the recipes. So this recipe here, which was doing glowstone singularities, then we had the middle packager doing the nothings. So we're going to give it one of the package recipe holders that's doing both. Then, of course, what it is going to get originally given the packages, it's going to put them into the chest. So now we've got an extra conduit here that loops back on itself. However, filters have to be involved at this point. So this one is blacklisting glowstone because then it will receive the new packets, send them straight back into the chest as glowstone. And we don't want that going back around here. Equally, we don't want the packages going to the quantum compressor. So this one has a filter also for glowstone. Just this one's whitelisted and this one's blacklisted. So if we go back over to the ME terminal, we can watch it do the same thing again. Start off our second glowstone singularity then go over to here, it should in a second start putting packages into this chest, there you go, there they are, and now it's putting glowstone into this chest. And once again the glowstone is going over to the quantum compressor and filling up and making us another glowstone singularity. This of course doesn't just work with glowstone, it'll work with any singularity you like, and in fact any recipe you like, by doubling up on those recipes so that you have an, a blank one as well as a glowstone singularity one, then you can end up with a lot more slots than the package recipe encoder originally intends. And like I said, you don't actually need to have outputs for these, so hopefully it won't be too confusing. Of course the other point is you don't need to put a thousand of these in one thing, you could go for five thousand and then only have two of them instead of ten here, or you could fill the whole thing up or you can do as many as you like. And then here, you can have as many as you like. If you want to go crazy, you could have 81 stacks here, and then here, 81 stacks of recipe packages, and then here, I don't know, another 81 stacks of recipe packages, and then here's your actual recipe. By duplicating them up like this, you can get 81 to the power of 20 items in your auto crafts. And while the 9 in the interface, and even potentially the 81 here, is not enough, I think 80, uh, 81 to the power 20 is probably plenty of items for your auto-crafting purposes. And hence, you should never run into problems ever again as we just finish up our glowstone singularity here and it will be popped off to the Emmy system. I'm going to end this video here. Bye!